Happy Thursday morning. You get another vlog from me. I don't know how great this one's gonna be. It is a crazy day. So I tell you a couple things. One, I'm a terrible friend. So I feel so bad for my girlfriend Heidi. Um, so yesterday after, after work we were gonna try out a new boxing class. It's called Boxing Intervals at the YMCA. But this is my problem. When I am done working, I just don't want to have to work out. Like, on Monday nights we do Zumba, so I think, oh yeah, that's good enough, right? Like, it's not good enough, but I muster up enough energy to try that because so far I like it. But on Wednesday, this was a new class for us. We've not tried it yet, and this is the day that we were going to try it. And then I went and I canceled on her. I had her on the phone and I said, I'm kind of nervous about trying it. You know, it's brand new, and um, and I don't want to look like a fool, of course. Nobody wants to look like a fool. But then I was thinking about it. I was like, well, it's like after work time, and I'm tired, and I let all of the excuses get in the way of doing the work. The work's not going to get its own self done. It needs someone to do it. So I should be doing the work. But... I just didn't feel it last night, so I said, no, let's let's not do that workout. Let's not do boxing. She was like, okay. And then she said, well, um, how about then in the morning we walk? Because we also gather together at um, the neighborhood zoo and walk for 45 minutes in the morning at times. However, it's been like ice cold out <laughs> in the mornings, like 30 degree weather, and it's just kind of chilly. Um, and so then I was like, okay. And I told her okay, which if I had a problem with that, I should have told that to her at the time. But it's not like I didn't have a problem. I didn't have a problem with it. I thought, yeah, that would be something we could do. Last night, do you think I set my alarm to go off in enough time to get up and go walk with her? Nope. And I've already burned her once before doing the same dumb thing. I should have just set my alarm and just done it but I didn't and I feel bad because she showed up at our meeting place so not only did she wake up on time but she got in her car and she drove all the way to our meeting place and then sat there and waited for me who never showed up Ooh, I feel bad for her so I said oh, I'm so sorry because she said I guess you, you maybe didn't set your alarm whatever and I'm like oh so Heidi if you're watching truly from the deep 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 depth of my heart I'm so sorry I don't like you said I'm not the person that usually cancels on people and so it's so weird um, for me it's so out of character so I just feel bad it must just be one of those days like a 24-hour thing that I just didn't feel like wanting to do that now keep in mind did that stop me from working out yesterday because I didn't go to the boxing class no my husband and I actually we took an hour-long walk so it's not that we, it's not that I'm against working out. I just wasn't feeling boxing. But this coming week, I've got to make it a point to just do it. I'm going to do it. So, that's the first thing I wanted to tell you guys about. That, you know, just remember, if you're working out <laughs> and you've got a buddy, and if your buddy system works, don't screw it up like me. Don't be like me. Because you don't want your buddy to leave you. <laughs> and I, Heidi would not want you to leave me. Um, so, the other thing that's kind of busy to, for me today. So, uh, I'm hoping that my friend is forgi forgiving me and forgiving enough to want to take a walk after work. But I doubt it. Because um, she's probably like, I already did my workout. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll keep you informed. <laughs> And then the other things that are going on today, I have to get my influenza shot. In my line of work being a nurse, I have to get a shot every year, regardless whether I want one or not. And so that is scheduled between 11 and 11.15 this morning. And then I have to leave work at 11.15 because I'm heading to the doctor to get my hearing checked. I know. 
Usually hearing checks are done during when you're younger and not really necessary unless you think you have a problem as you get older. And I think I've got a problem. My husband always is telling me, get your hearing checked, get your hearing checked. And I'm just like, oh, I don't want to get my hearing checked because if it means that I need hearing aids, then it means I need hearing aids. And uh, I'm not ready to hear that. <laughs> oh, no pun intended. Love it. But anyways, um, so I have that scheduled this morning and uh, I've just got to go get it done, get it over with. It's, so I don't really, I don't even know how to prep for this appointment. It's not like it's the dentist where I probably should be sedated before I go because I have so much high anxiety about going to the dentist. But it's also not like the doctor where I've got to like make sure every crack and crevice is completely clean. I mean, I just got to make sure my ears are clean and they are. So I don't think I need to do anything else uh, to prepare for this hearing exam. But yeah, that's it. I don't want to bore you anymore on the way to my work. But those are the things that are going on for me today. Again, I hope I can get that workout in this evening, this walk after work. Hopefully uh, my friend will forgive me and get me on track. Now I will say, for anybody interested in wanting to know, the step bet that I have going on, that is going well. I have not missed any days. I am on target. I am completing my goals, my walking goals of at least 9,000 some steps four days a week and at least 11,000 steps two days a week. And I am just doing swimmingly. So our group started with 20 people in the um, See Mindy Moms Challenge and I think we're down to 17. So pretty excited about that. Not that we've lost three people. But just that I'm continuing on and I haven't lost any money. So, very excited, very excited. So keep walking, I'm keeping walking. My husband, I tell my husband, I'm like, I don't know if the payout for that step bet challenge is going to be high enough to be worth all this walking that I've been doing. <laughs> Aren't I so selfish? And he says to me, he said, is it just the fact that you won and that you completed the goal? Isn't that worthy enough like don't you have like the competition spirit in you to be competitive enough just to say that you won that that's enough and I looked at him and I said no I said I know I'm a winner <laughs> I don't need this um step at challenge to tell me I'm a winner I'm already a winner just because I win at other things in my life but if I'm truly going to be competitive it's the stakes have got to be higher and uh, <laughs> I'm just terrible. I have been exposing myself a lot here today on this vlog. So now you know how selfish, how lazy, and um, just that, that's just the type of person I guess I am. Welcome to the Active Rachel M channel. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys later in the day. All right, it's lunchtime, people. And I'm driving on the worst road in my city um, so I apologize for all the bumping and jumping anyways so funny story <laughs> so at my work they were administering the flu shot and they were administering it for employees in our department and there was a problem because I had to leave at 11 15 to go to my hearing appointment and um, they were supposed to be starting up and ready to go with administering vaccinations or flu shots at 11. And then when I went up there, because I was like, oh, I'll go up 10 to 10 to 11 and see if they're there, try to sneak in early. Nobody there. Then I went at 10.58 and I'm following the lady, the nurse, who's there to administer vaccinations. And... She's like, oh, I see where I'm supposed to go. There's um, a line outside the door. So we go to that line together, and she gets in there, and she's like, I'm sorry, folks. Uh, it's going to take me about 15 minutes to set up. So I'm looking at the clock, and I realize this is the only day that they're going to be in our department uh, to, to, to administer the shots, and I'm like, well, by the time I get back from my appointment and lunch, she's going to be gone. So I'm like, ah. Oh, Right, I, I'm not going to be able to get my shot today. So I just told her, I said, I guess I've got to go to employee health and get my shot there. And she didn't really have anything to say. And that was just me venting and being naughty. But whatever. I was a little frustrated. 
So then went to my hearing appointment and as I was walking out I saw a big sign that said flu clinic and I was like hmm I wonder if I can get my flu shot here in the main clinic so then I went over there and she's like come on in and then I said I'm an employee she said yep I can take care of you there was like no line there was nobody and I sat right in the chair filled out the paperwork got the shot so booyah on the lady who was late and getting to my department. I know I shouldn't be so crazy about it, but I just, that frustrates me. What do we always say? One of the highest commodities that we have in our life is our time and it's precious and I don't want to waste it. And so going down to that flu, going down to where we were supposed to get shots administered today twice and her not being there already was very frustrating. So I think I'm done venting about that topic now. Um, but guess what? Um, in other news, I had my hearing appointment and the, um, results from my hearing exam is that I can hear perfectly fine. Yay! 100% gold star. Um, they said that I'm actually, I can actually hear better than perfect. They said they purposely bring the volume down really low for certain parts of the test and that even at those lowest spots, I could still hear. I was like, woo, woo, I'm so excited. Now, I can go ahead and tell my husband that I'm not losing my hearing. Rest assured. All right, I'm here in the drive-thru at Culver's. I'm getting a salad, grilled chicken salad, so gotta go. Okay, here we are after work. Me and Heidi just got done taking our walk. She so grace, gracefully uh, chose to go for a walk with me tonight. Thank you, Heidi. And um, she has forgiven me, and um, we can't wait to be best friends again. <laughs> I was never mad. Oh, I was she's never so mad. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. So we got our walk in, we got our steps in, and we are fit and active and happy to be here. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. Make sure you click like and subscribe. We will see you next time.